Yeah, I mean, for a lot of us, you know, that was our first collegiate game. So I think, you know, coming into the game, a lot of people, you know, even coaches-wise, you know, didn't really know what to expect. You know, when you go into practice and into a game, you know, playing in front of 8,000 people is completely different. But after reviewing the film, I think, you know, most of the team was pretty satisfied with the effort. First, first game, first touchdown catch. What was that play like for you? And just what was it like to get that first touchdown? That play was amazing. I mean, there was no better feeling than that, honestly. Uh, you know, catching that, being able to look up and, you know, see the crowd roaring, 80,000 people. It was, you know, a great feeling I remember for the rest of my life. It seemed like Everett was very calm in there, had control of everything. What were, were your impressions on how he handled his first game at Florida State? I mean, you could definitely tell he's been in the moment before. You know, he's an experienced guy, most experienced guy on the offense, and you could definitely tell he's been in the moment. What is the even playing so well, what does the offense need to clean up and, and continue to improve upon? Uh, I think it's just a little thing, you know, details, you know, personally for tight ends, you know, just getting our depth on routes, you know, maybe just blocking, you know, just things like that, just little things. Last year, having the opportunity to, to practice behind it and watch a guy like Nico O'Leary, what did you learn from, from him? Uh, I learned the most I ever in my whole life, you know, besides Coach Brewster. I mean, you know, just playing under him, playing under a player like that who won the Mackey Award. I mean, there was nothing like it. You know, the little details, you know, the thing he does to just prepare for games. You know, uh, you know some of the, just the tips he says, you know, to run better routes, how to block better. I mean, it was just, you know, benefiting me a lot. USF this week, uh, what have you learned from, from them in their defense looking at the film? Uh, they're definitely really athletic. And that's what I really learned from last week to this week. Definitely a really athletic team. You know, great, great team, well coached. So, you know, it's going to be great. You know, game for us. I've heard a lot of coaches say that a lot of the, the biggest improvements come from game one to game two. Once you finally get some film and kind of figure out what you really need to correct, yeah. how important is it to to get better this week? I mean, you know, getting better every day in practice, I think, is you know the first step for me. Uh, you know, going out every day, just working, you know, preparing, you know, so I could do the, do it right in the game from game one to game two. I think that's definitely the most important thing. An 11:30 start on Saturday, kind of an early one. Niles said he thinks probably the earliest he's he's yeah. ever played. Is this is kind of a, a unique start time and kind of unique, you know, first game first first game out of the day. Yeah, I mean it's definitely unique. You know, coming from you know last week playing at 8 p.m., now playing at 11:30. I think the heat's going to definitely be a factor, but I mean you know I think we're going to come out. We're going to be ready.